Well, today, testimony in the sex trafficking trial of Tony Lazaro wrapped up. The 32-year-old, wealthy, former GOP operative finished testifying this morning, and closing arguments will begin tomorrow. Lou Raguse has been following this case since the beginning and joins us now with what happened in court today. Lou? Julie, the defense today tried to mitigate some of the damage done in cross-examination by the prosecution yesterday. That after a former friend of Lazaro provided prosecutors incriminating videos, photos, and text messages. More on that in a minute, but first, we have some of the exhibits used during this trial. Now, take a look. This is Tony Lazaro's condo as people walk in. His living room, where he talked with the teenage girls he brought over there. His stocked bar, where he served the 15-year-old and 16-year-old's alcoholic drinks and his safe, which was filled with stacks of cash. The alleged victims say Lazaro paid them after they had sex with him. These are boxes of vape pens he's accused of giving some of the teens. And this is Lazaro's infamous Ferrari, seized by the government because he's accused of giving one teen a ride home with it after paying her for sex. Now back to Lazaro's testimony. He claimed that the text message that seemed to refer to his co-defendant, Gisela Castro Medina, as a recruiter was read out of context and he attempted to soften the blow of what the jury saw in disturbing photos and videos of the teens in his condo and in his bed. It was quite a moment when the prosecution came up with the evidence during Lazaro's testimony. I've been live tweeting much of this trial, and today Charles Bittman, the man who sent the FBI the new evidence, reached me and said my tweets prompted him to look back in his phone and find those videos, photos, and texts. Julie. Well, you do such a phenomenal job of tweeting. So many trials you've covered for us. This is a new twist, though. Uh, and I did hear you talking with Mr. Bittman. Did he tell you what specific tweet caught his attention? Yes. While Tony Lazaro was testifying, he made kind of an offhanded comment that he doesn't like lingerie. And that prompted Charles Bittman to look back at his phone. He ended up finding a video, a disturbing video, of teens dancing in Tony Lazaro's apartment wearing lingerie that Lazaro sent to Charles Bittman. Well, it seems the prosecution has a really strong case. Do you see any weaknesses? It's hard to, to characterize anything as a weakness. I will say that Gisela Castro Medina's testimony was very strong. This new evidence also very strong. The testimony of the victims themselves was more of a wild card. And I could say that if the prosecution did not have Gisela Castro Medina testifying, they would have had a much harder case. All right. Excellent job covering the trial. We know closing arguments tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lou. Yep.